Justin Fields, possible destinations. Got one? No. And, you know, Dan, at some point, what the Bears need to do is say, you know what? We're not going to get anything close to what we thought we were going to get for Justin Fields. So let's see what happens after round one of the draft. Because maybe one of these teams that is thinking they're going to get their long-term answer Mm -hmm. via the first round doesn't get him. And we got to mark it in that 18 hours between round one and round two. And then if that doesn't happen, let's say they take Caleb Williams, they have Justin Fields, a trade market doesn't develop after round one, why not hold on to him? Look at what happened last year. All the quarterbacks that got injured and the Browns are proposing moving the trade deadline from the Tuesday after week eight until the Tuesday after week 10. That's 10 weeks of opportunities for a starting quarterback to get injured and somebody to say, we got to give up whatever we have to give up to get Justin Fields. If they can make that work, if they can keep Fields from you know getting too frustrated and not being a team player, they could maybe wait for the right opportunity and get the value in September or October that they're not going to get now. Any chance the Bears don't take Caleb Williams? I'd be stunned if they don't. I, I really would be stunned. He he checks all the boxes. He gets it mature, serious about his craft. I'd be stunned. Unless the, the only very small, and this is ridiculously small because he didn't do the medicals at the combine, when they bring him into Chicago, if they find something that freaks them out, then I, I assume they'd pivot to Jaden Daniels. But the idea of Fields being QB1 all year long without another guy being added, I think that ship sailed for the Bears. And if they can't trade Fields, they're not going to go back on their plan, I believe, to take a quarterback with the first overall pick.